Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now going to be answering question number five from the International A Level Pure Mathematics 1P1 June 2021 exam. This question here is gives us a, a, a diagram of a graph, well, two graphs on the same axis. It says the share value of two companies, company A, which is this kind of parabola shape, and company B, which is like the straight line shape, has been monitored over a 15-year period. So there's 15 years that it's been monitored. So this is up to 15 years, from 0 to 15. The share value PA of company A in millions of pounds. So a very key thing here is the fact that this is millions of pounds. So when they ask you for certain values, you have to mention the unit, and you should mention that, you know, you won't write the answer in terms of these numbers, but it's these numbers, this number of millions. It's modeled by the equation um, PA equals 53 minus 0 0.4 times T minus 8 squared. So this is very clearly a quadratic. And it's written in a, in a form which is um, completing the square, which helps us to find the vertex, which would be over there, the highest point. So that's set up in that way. Where T is the number of years after monitoring began. The share value PB of company B in millions of pounds is modeled by the equation PB equals minus 1.6 T plus 44.2. So it's like this, this line here, which is a straight line, as we can see, it's in the form y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient, we can see it has a negative gradient, and c is the y-intercept. Okay, so we can see that from these two equations. Um, it says figure two shows a graph of both models, so that's the figure there. Um, it says find the difference between the share value of company A and the share value of company B at the point monitoring began. Okay, so when monitoring began is when t equals zero so all we have to do is substitute t equals zero into a so you have 53 minus 0 0.4 times 0 minus 8 which is minus 8 squared so it's 53 minus 0 0.4 times 64 so we have 53 minus 0 0.4 times 8 squared which is which will be 64 that gives you 27.4 27.4 so we can say p a equals 27.4 all right so um that's p a and when t equals zero p b is going to be of course this is going to be zero it's going to be 44.2 so it's minus 1.6 times zero plus 44.2 i'll just write that down that's 44.2 so we can say p uh, b minus p a is equal to so 44.2 minus the original answer gives you 84 over 5, which is 16.8. 16 .16 so we can say that, therefore, the difference is equal to... Now, this is where you have to be careful, because P is measured in millions of pounds. So difference is equal to 16.8 million pounds. Okay, that's where you have to be very careful to write the unit properly. Don't put 16.8 as your answer. It's 16.8 million pounds. You could write, of course, 16,800,000 if you want to. Okay, but this, this is fine. Okay, so the difference is 16.8 million pounds. Don't just write 16.8. You will definitely lose a mark for that. Okay, so that's an important point here. Okay, now, second question. Part B. It says, state the maximum share value of company A during the 15-year period. Okay, the maximum share value of A is going to be up here, which is at its vertex. This is the vertex of this quadratic um, shape here. This called parabola. It's a vertex right at the top of the... Oops, right up there. That's the vertex. So we got to find this value of P. The maximum value of P for A. Okay, for the company A. So this is already set up in the form that we need. When you have an equation in this form, Y equals X minus A squared plus b then the coordinates of this point here and so the the number inside here with it with the opposite sign and the number outside here is going to be the coordinates of the vertex basically the the, the value of x that makes this zero will cause this to have the vertex so for example here you have 53 minus 0 0.4 times t minus 8 squared you're always going to be taking something away from 53 in this expression okay for different values of t you'll always be 53 minus something. So 
you know, always taking something away. So the, the expression PA will always be less than 53, 53 minus something. There's one point at which it's going to be equal to 53, and that's when you take away nothing from it. Now, when will you take away nothing from 53? When this number here causes the bracket to be 0. So 0 0.4 times 0 gives you 0, 53 minus 0 is 53. So when t equals 8, that's when that happens. That's why, you know, the value here is always the opposite of, um, you know, this, so it's whatever makes this bracket 0. So when t is 8, this is 0. So the coordinates of the point where the, the maximum here would be 8, 53. Okay, so this is when t equals 8. So after 8 years, and this is 53, but we don't need to worry about the 8 part because all they want is the maximum share value of company A. So the maximum value for A is going to be when PA is equal to 53. Okay, so therefore we can say the maximum value, the maximum share value, remember again, we have to be careful to write it as 53 million pounds. 53 million pounds, or if you want 53, and then you have your six zeros. Okay, you have to mention the value in terms of millions of pounds because that's what you know this is representing. Okay, so that's part B done. Now for part C, it says find using algebra and showing you working the times during this 15 year period when the share value of company A was greater than the share value of company B. Now they're going to be. The, 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 they're going to, uh, the value of A is going to be less than B, and at this point, it's going to equal B. Okay, at this point, let me call that T1. And then it's going to be more than B. Okay, and then it looks like when the 15-year period ends, it's still going to be more than B, and then we stopped. Okay, but we could, if we wanted to, just think and continue it on and see, okay, whether, you know, that... Because this is going to continue going down, this is going to go down, they will meet again. Okay, but if it's after the 15-year period, then we're not going to worry about that and not mention it. Okay, if it's before the 15-year period, then we will. So I'm just going to put T2 here as a, in case. Um, if they do meet again in the 15-year period, then I have to mention between time 1, the time that we need is between time 1 and time 2. However, if it, the time 2 is more than 15 years because monitoring will stop after 15 years then all i have to say is t1 is greater than or the time we need is greater than t1 okay because we don't need the the 15 because it's, it's all that whole time it's going to be sorry the whole time is going to be greater until 15 years it'll still be greater by doing it. okay so now i'm going to find first then where they are equal to each other when pa is equal to pb and then from that, I'll be able to um, find out what those values are, and I can continue. So when PA is equal to PB, at these two points, if I find the value of T for which this is true, I've basically answered the question. So PA equals PB. So I have 53 minus 0 0.4 times T minus 8 squared equals minus 1.6 T plus 44.2. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to expand this bracket here. Okay, so expanding this bracket will cause me to get 53 minus 0 0.4 times t squared minus 16t plus 64, squaring this bracket, and that's minus 1.6t plus 44.2. Now I need to expand this bracket here by um, you know, multiplying out, so I have minus 0.4t squared, Plus, that's going to be 0 0.4 times 16. I think that's 66.4. 16 times 0 0.4. That's 6.4. Okay, so that's 6, 6.4t. Minus times plus is minus. So that's 0 0.4 times 64. That gives you 25.6. So 25.6 equals minus 1.6t plus 44.2 okay let me just simplify this 53 minus 25.6 53 minus that gives you 27.4 so i have minus 0 0.4 t squared plus 6.4 t plus what was it 27.4 plus 27.4 equals negative 1.6 t plus 44.2 now i'm going to bring all the 
um, terms to one side because this is a quadratic. So I'm going to make this side for the t squared. So I'll have 0 on this side. I'll have 0 0.4 t squared. Then I'm going to have um, negative 1.6. I'm going to have minus 6.4. So that's going to be minus, I think that's 8t. Is that right? So I have uh, 1.6 plus 6.4 gives me 8t. And then I'm going to have 44.2 minus 27.4. 44.2 minus 27.4. That's correct. That gives me 16.8. That's going to be plus plus 16.8. So if I divide everything by 0 0.4 to get rid of this, you know, coefficient here. So I'll have, uh, let me see if that works out. So that's going to be t squared minus what's 8 divided by 0 0.4. 8 divided by 0 0.4. That's going to give me 20. Okay, good. That's 20t. And 16.8. 16.8 divided by 0 0.4, that's going to give me 42, plus 42 equals 0. So now I can try to factorize this or solve this. Let's see if it factorizes first. Um, if I try to factorize this, I'm going to have two numbers multiplied to give you 42. So 42 and 1, 21 and 2, no, I have to be both the same sign. They're both negative um, and they both have to add up to 20. That's not right. Um, 3, 14 times 3, nope, 4 doesn't go into it, 5, 6, 6, 7 is a 42, nope, okay, I don't think it's going to factorize, there's no other combinations, so I can use the quadratic formula, or I can use completing the square, I'm going to use completing the square, so I have t squared minus 20t equals negative 42, what you can't do is just use your calculator function of uh, equations and write down t equals this and t equals that, you will definitely lose marks, especially in P1 for that. And that's why it mentions, I think, in the beginning of the question, if we go back to the beginning, um, actually, it didn't mention it here. But in general, yeah, you should not use your calculator to find these things. Anyway, so now we're going to do completing the square. So we have t minus 10 close bracket squared. So we take half of this coefficient, okay, and we square the bracket, then we take away the square of this number, which is going to be 10 squared, which is 100, equals a minus 42. So I isolated the t squared and t term on one side. I completed the square for this side, so I basically, this is like t minus 10 squared. That would give me t squared minus 20t, but then it would be plus 100, which I don't want, so that's why I take away the 100. And then I'm going to say t minus 10 t minus 10 squared is equal to 100 minus 42. Okay, so t minus, sorry, that's supposed to be inside. Brackets inside and then it's squared. So t minus 10 squared equals 100 minus 42, which is, that's 58. So t minus 10 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 58. So t is equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of 58. Okay, so we can say t1 is equal to 10 plus the square root, of, uh, sorry, minus the square root of 58. That's the lower value. Minus the square root of 58. And t2 is equal to 10 plus the square root of 58. Okay, so we can find the values of that. 10 minus the square root of 58. That gives you 2.384. 2.384. And 10 plus the square root of 8, just change that for a plus, that gives you 17.616, 17.616. Okay, so this T2 is greater than 15, so we can just discount it. So therefore, we can say that the time that we want is when it's greater than 2.38 years. Okay, when the time is greater than 2.38, that's when... The profit of A will be bigger than profit of B in this 15-year period, okay? I guess you could write this if you want to. But I think this is this is better. T is greater than 2.38. I don't think we need to write the years because T is standing for a number of years anyway. Okay, so it says um, find using algebra showing about the times during the 15-year period. Okay, so T is greater than 2.38. So you could say, okay, after... 2.38 years. Okay, that's the time 
when it's going to be greater, 3A is going to be greater than PB. Okay, it's going to go lower than it after 17 years, but this is only monitored for a 15-year period, so we don't mention that at all. Okay, so there's the answer to part C. Now for part D. Explain why the model for company A should not be used to predict its share value when T equals 20. Well, I'm guessing that when T equals 20, this might go in the negative. Let's see. 53 minus 0 0.4 times 20 minus 8 squared. So let's see what that gives us. 53 minus 0 0.4 times, that's 12 squared. Whoops. Times 12 squared. As you can see, you're going to get negative 4.6. Okay, so, all right, um, T equals 20 causes the profit. Sorry about my really bad handling let me just try and be neat here it's not that easy on this equipment so t equals 20 causes p a to be negative 0 0.6 which is a negative profit which is negative therefore not possible something like that a little explanation and there we have the answer to part d and that completes question number five from P1, June 2021. Other questions from this paper can be found by clicking on this link here. Other questions from this topic of, I guess it's going to be quadratics, and graphs, it's going to be over here. Other questions um, from other papers of um, P1, P2, P3, P4, M1, S1, IG papers can be found by clicking on the description um, given in the, or clicking in the link given in the description to this video. And um, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link here. Thank you for watching. See you soon.